Earlier this week, KPRC2 investigates exclusively reported on developments involving William Paul Thomas, the former director of city council relations, federally convicted of conspiracy tied to cash bribes. Today, those developments resulted in Thomas having to go before a federal judge in downtown Houston. Investigator Mario Diaz was the only journalist in the room and is joining us now live. Mario, did this come as a surprise? Andy, it did, because keep in mind, it was well over a year ago that William Paul Thomas pleaded guilty to conspiracy tied to cash bribes. And let's not forget, he did so while he was working in that building behind me right there, that city hall, where he was a city director. And at the same time, he was part of Mayor Turner's inner circle. And now, over a year later, he's asking for new attorneys. This as he's about to be sentenced in federal court just days before Christmas. Do you think you're going to be sentenced in, in December? I have no idea. William Paul Thomas is a federally convicted former director of city council relations for the city of Houston. He also is a man with an unclear future. Do you have a new attorney? I can't talk about any of that stuff. You know that, Mario. This was Thomas after appearing in federal court this afternoon. He is in need of a new attorney, even though he's pleaded guilty and has seen his sentencing delayed five times since last fall. How rare is it to have the request to withdraw from your attorney after you have already pled guilty? It's not something you see very often. Ryan Patrick is not only the former U.S. attorney, but also a former Harris County judge. His take on Paul's situation? It could be that time is finally running out on getting to sentencing, and now he's looking for, quote, sentencing specialists, or uh, he simply ran out of money to pay his current lawyers. The judge is going to revisit the situation next week. As for what William Paul Thomas is saying publicly for the first time over a year after being federally convicted for conspiracy tied to cash bribes, how surprised are you that you're in this situation, William Paul? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not making any comments because, you know, I don't want to talk about that stuff. A lot of people have shown interest in your case because of your role with the city of Houston and the corruption that's involved as a result of you pleading guilty. What do you say to Houstonians? I, I have a grandson being born Monday. With regards to the corruption that you pled guilty to, what do you say to Houstonians, sir? I, I don't have any comment about that, Mario. We'll let this thing play out and we'll just uh, take the acts of truth and slam it against the tree of circumstance and let the chips fall where they may. And that's a statement there from a man with an uncertain future. William Paul Thomas will be back in court next week to see where things continue to stand with regards for his desires of a new attorney. Live from downtown at City Hall, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates. We will see what happens next week. Mario, thank you.